Sa profesorom doktorom Arpadom Berečkim, članom tima eksperata specijalne bolnice Sveti Vid, razgovarali smo o saradnji koju ima sa tom bolnicom. Danas nastavljamo priču o njegovom iskustvu u lečenju pacijenata sa diabetesom kao jednim od najvećih medicinskih izazova. Treating the diabetic patient is it's one of the most challenging issue in medical field because the diabetic patient has a lot of problem. He has a lot of ophthalmological problem also, but he has neurological problem. It's an intermedicine problems also, and from the point of view of the of the eye doctor, we have to check these patients regularly. Uh, until they until the point they, they start to have retinopathy if they have retinopathy retinopathy means they have retina changes due to to blood to to diabetic disease then we can we have to change uh, to check them more often as soon as new vessels are, are starting to grow inside of the eye it's it's, it's better to start the laser but uh, this is always the, the 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 responsibility of the of the of his eye doctor so the patient cannot cannot decide if it's sick or not or if he needs laser or not so he have to go to checkups quite regularly especially if the the blood sugar levels are not okay from point of view of the patient he can do the most for himself if he's taking care of his blood sugar he's taking care of his blood pressure he has a, a controlled diet all the time, so this, these are very important things. Performing surgery for, for a diabetic, eye surgery for a diabetic patient it, it's also a challenging case. Uh, in the last years, so what we prefer to do is to do an injection of intra, intraocular uh, anti-VEGF, uh, leave the patient for 72 hours and then do the surgery after 72 hours later. This uh, makes the surgery much safer. Uh, less bleeding during the surgery, so it's it's good basically for everybody, but mainly for the patient.